Hi, and welcome to the very first Kai's Cast. Uh, this is a podcast series that I've always wanted to do, but I guess I've never really had a platform to do it and an audience that would watch. And uh, now I think I might actually have those things. So uh, I guess we're going to try and do a podcast. <laughs> I'm going to kind of just show off some art. This is all the stuff that I've been working on recently because I do a lot more art than I do graffiti nowadays. Uh, graffiti is what kind of got me into art. We'll talk about that more later. First, uh, let's talk about what is the Kai's cast. Uh, what is this thing? Pretty much, I'm just going to, I don't know if I'm going to do it every week, every two weeks, every three weeks. We'll just depends on what people want. Uh, so how, however often you want this, uh, tell me at the end of the, at the end in the, in the comments. In the comments, oh, it's not what I want to say. I'm not sure how often I'll do these. Uh, it really depends on what you guys would like. If you wanted to see it one every week or every two weeks, all up to you guys. Uh, tell me in the comments what you'd like to see. Um, as far as what to expect in these, uh, it's mostly just me talking. I'd like to get guests on eventually, but I don't know if that's going to happen soon. But maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I like that idea a lot, having other people on here, other artists specifically on here. Uh, in the background of these videos, especially this video today, there will be like, there's not any graffiti, so if that's what you're watching for, I'm sorry to tell you that there's not going to be any of that. This is just going to be a little more of my normal normal art. I don't really know what I normally create, so it's hard to say what's normal and what's not. <laughs> but um, in these podcasts, I plan to just uh, talk about myself, what my goals are, what my plans are, my thoughts on everything, pretty much everything under the sun, and just kind of talk to you, talk at you dudes, talk at you homies, you guys just have to sit there and listen to me, haha, -ha. so um, what can you expect in the future of the Kai's cast, so like I already said, I plan to get, I would like to get guests on here eventually, don't know if that's going to happen soon, but that's definitely something I want to do, and other things you can expect, there's some more, uh, a deeper look into me, who I am as a person, kind of talking about my art, so if that's something you're interested in, uh, keep watching. The first piece was just a, um, the, the, the first canvas that we did was colored on a, on a live stream. I just used some Dr. Gut Silver and some Oink Ink and some drip mops and uh, did a background and then colored over it today with some Posca markers. And uh, yeah, I like how it looks. We'll do more with it later. But here, this is the Motus Projects catalog. I'm not sure if it's a catalog. It's a piece they were giving away when you ordered their clothes. They're a parkour uh, company. Company? They're a parkour brand. And they make really cool stuff. And I've always loved their stuff. So I've held on to this because I wanted to make some art out of it. And sure enough, I um, came up with some art for it. So I got this canvas that I, I believe I bought from the uh, VI, which is like a thrift store in my area. And that's where I buy all my canvases mostly. It's pretty rare I have blank canvases just because they're like four times the price. I just like to buy other people's old canvases and paint over them. It's easier for me anyway. <laughs> so I'm cutting these all out, doing kind of a collage. Collage was the idea, at least. Uh, you'll see how that turns out. As far as my art style goes, um, I don't know if I have a defined style. I kind of, I kind of just create. I enjoy creating. I don't really like think about it the whole time. I, I'm really focused on the process. My personal belief is process over piece. I don't really care how the piece looks at the end. Uh, I just really want to enjoy the process of it. I think that's where um, I think that's uh, something I got from writing from doing graffiti. Is that um, a really nice piece is is really enjoyable to look at, but I really enjoyed tags, which were just mostly because they were fun to do. Like that's what I really enjoyed was just doing the the act of doing it. So um, that's something I kind of took away from graffiti, I believe, and or maybe I don't even know. Maybe that's just like how my brain functions i'm not quite sure um, i was going to use oil paints but then I decided that i was trying to do a podcast so um, i didn't want this to take two weeks to dry and uh, so then i used some oil pastels and came to the same conclusion so then we set on some acrylic paint for for the painting <laughs> a little bit better of a decision because that doesn't take a couple years to dry like oil paints do i have a massive collection of art supplies uh, if you haven't already noticed <laughs> I've, I'm kind of a minimalist. I'm very minimalistic in certain senses, but then I'm a super hoarder in other senses. I'm like a hoarder by heart. Like 
tendency. I just like to hoard. But um, but I also really enjoy having very little. So I'm this weird balance of hoarder minimalist where if, if I think it's artistic or I think I can make art out of it, I'm going to keep it. But then, like, if it's anything else, I, I like, will just get rid of it. <laughs> it's just super interesting. I mean, that explains why, like, my entire living space is mostly art supplies, more art supplies than living space nowadays. <laughs> I think that brings me more joy. I, I think I wouldn't be, I would, I could be as happy if I had less art supplies, but um, I enjoy how I live now. I don't plan to live how I do right now forever. I actually have a van that I'm working on converting. I don't know if you guys would be more interested in that later, but that's something I can talk about in the future if you guys would like to hear more about it. But um, when I do that van, I'm going to have to downsize a lot. And uh, that's going to be very interesting and difficult. But I, I'm up for the challenge. I think that the uh, rewards, the rewards, the pros outweigh the cons. That's that's what I'm looking for. Um, that's something that I think a lot about nowadays. Like pretty much every time I'm like digging through my art supplies, I'm like, huh, I don't know how much longer I'm going to have all these. So I've been a lot more careless, not careless, but a lot more crazy with my art supplies. Like I'm not, I'm, I don't care about using as much paint or trying to conserve paint anymore because this could be like my last year having all this paint. So I, I might as well use it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I don't even know why I'm laughing at myself this just feels it's so strange I I'm normally used to like doing those voiceovers for TikTok especially but those only take me like what like maybe five minutes max to film or film do you film audio record audio that's the right word and so this is a little bit more difficult well, actually a lot more difficult I'm pretty good at talking I like to think I'm a teacher so I teach at a parkour gym I teach uh, students parkour anywhere from ages from 5 to 18, I believe. We have some older, but mostly mostly between the ages of like 6 to 12 is probably what, that's what the majority of my students are. So I'm pretty good at talking, I, I think, because <laughs> I have to talk a lot to students. Um, so I think that um, that'll make me a, a better podca po podcast host. It'll make me a better podcaster. <laughs> I guess I'm a podcaster. <laughs> um, I'm not really sure. I really, I don't know. I've always wanted to do a podcast. I don't know why. But then I was like, well, I was really inspired by Peter Draws. He does, um, he just does drawing and then he talks over it. And he has a podcast, I believe. But most of his videos kind of have the feeling of a podcast. And I really enjoy them. I like turning them on and kind of like doing something else in the background and listening to his because I really like him as a person and I like his ideas. And I'm like, wow, I, I guess I kind of have a follow. I have followers now. So maybe some of them would like to hear me talk and ramble for however long the podcast is. Uh, yeah, this is, this is such an interesting experience. The worst part is knowing that I'm going to have to go through and re-listen to this audio and cut out parts of it. So I'm gonna have to like overshoot it, but I don't know how much, I don't know. It's a learning experience. I really like being, I really like learning. I like being in uncomfortable situations. Uh, not like by choice, well, kind of by choice. I enjoy being in these kind of awkward situations. They really force me to grow as a person and to learn a lot faster. Um, that being said, I, I'm pretty horrible at meeting deadlines, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. If you're a follower, you probably know. If you're, if you're new, then, uh, well, now you know I'm pretty horrible at following deadlines and saying, when I, when I say I'll upload something and it usually comes out three days later or if it ever comes out at all. Um, I have a tendency to, with um, kind of content creation, I really like want everything to be perfect. And I really struggle when things don't seem perfect. So that, that leads to me creating a lot and then not posting. Which, um, if you're listening to this, like, as it comes out, you, you'll know I've been off of TikTok for five days for just no reason. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you're used to posting every single day, it's pretty, it's pretty crazy. Especially for, like, the TikTok pace. Like, the pace of TikTok is very different than other social platforms. 
and uh, it, I'm pretty sure it's going to negatively affect me just overall, like the view and everything, like my view rates and everything will go down, but I don't know. I just kind of needed a little break. Everything I was making, I didn't, I didn't enjoy. I felt disingenuine, which happens every once in a while. It's happened like two or three times now. I think it comes from getting a following so fast because if you didn't know, I, I got a, I got a hundred thousand followers on TikTok in just two months and like, I don't know. I get, I really wasn't ready for that. <laughs> I'm I'm some I'm <laughs> I don't even have the words to explain it. It's mind blowing, man. Like I'm so thankful for. It. I'm not like complaining about it at all. I'm just like I wasn't I wasn't ready for that at all. <laughs> yeah, it, it's been crazy. It's been absolutely it's been an absolute journey, and it's only been like a month and a half. <laughs> so. I'm really excited to see where it goes in the future. I mean, I've always wanted to be like a YouTuber. Like I think every kid goes through a stage where like when you discover YouTube and you're like, whoa, these dudes make cool videos. And then you're like, wait, they make money making cool videos. They just live and make cool videos. And like, I'm pretty sure there's a stage in most kids where they really want to be a YouTuber. And I remember like wanting to be a YouTuber so bad. And then I remember like turning 13 and being like, oh, that's not going to happen. You don't have enough personality. You're not, you can't be a good YouTuber. And I was like, oh, I guess I'm right. And then I kind of just stopped. I didn't like, not that I was doing anything to become a YouTuber, but it was just something I daydreamed about every single day. And then I stopped thinking about it so much. And I was like, oh, this isn't, this isn't a possibility I see for myself. I was 13. So like, clearly I was wrong, but so now, I mean, now it's just a dream come true. Here you can see this piece. I really like how this one looks. There's, we'll show it off again more at the end of the video, but on to the next thing. So here was that piece that we did earlier. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do with it, but I knew it wasn't complete. So um, my idea was I'm gonna cut it out and then figure something else out. That was about it. I thought maybe it would look good. It's kind of like a, out of the frame, like just the canvas without the frame. I don't even know. I don't even know where my mind was. That, wait, what was I saying earlier? Okay, great. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Like, I always wanted to be a YouTuber, right? And so now it's a dream come true that, I, I mean, I have two videos, so I guess I'm not a real YouTuber yet, but I'm working towards it, like, more than I ever have in my life. And it, it's an actual possibility. Like, right now, what, my first video has 2,000 views on YouTube. And, like, what? That blows my mind. Like, I can't even believe that, that so many people would come and watch it, even even if the view rate is pretty low. I don't even remember how long it is, but it's, it's pretty low. <laughs> but that many people came and saw it. And, like, people are posting it. It was in there recommended. Like, whoa, like, one of my videos is recommended. Like, that that was kind of mind-boggling to me. <laughs> so, I guess I'm really thankful for you guys. If you're watching this, you mean so much to me. Like, there's not even words to describe how much I love my following. Like... I don't know. That's why I call everybody homies because that's what you are. Like, you guys feel like my friends. I don't really see you guys because, like, I guess I've, I've, I resonate with you guys a lot because, like, I've always grown up and always my entire life just watched YouTubers. And, like, I've always just felt like a viewer or what is it? Word? I've always felt like a follower of other people, never like a creator. And um, so I resonate with you guys in that sense that, like, I always watched them. And now I kind of am one, if that makes any sense. So that's why like, I do like the live streams on TikTok is to connect with people. Like I want people to come in and like talk with me and ask me questions and get to know me because I want to get to know you guys because <laughs> you guys follow, like you guys care enough to watch my stuff. Like that is mind boggling to me. Like what? I just can't understand that. Uh, I'm so grateful for you guys. I'll probably say that a couple of thousand more times. Let's talk about what's happening in the video again. So here I flipped it around and I decided to nail it uh, facing the opposite direction onto the canvas. Uh, I don't know what the thought process was here, but it was just I had a box of nails and a little pink avocado hammer. And uh, one thing led to another thing. And here we are. Uh, as you keep watching, you'll see that I nailed it into my little table like so many times and hammered my fingers pretty often, like way too often. <laughs> but, oh 
oh, let me, I should talk about my, like my process when I create. I kind of talked about it a little bit a second ago, but still be worth mentioning. Uh, like I said, like I just kind of do things spur of the moment. I kind of just enjoy it. Like I, I didn't know what it would look like when I was done. I didn't even have an idea what it would look like when I was done hammering nails into it. But I just did it. And then whatever else came to mind, I just kept doing it. And I think that that makes me enjoy making art more. When I was always focused on um, what the end piece looked like, I would forget about the process. And then I would hate the process the whole time. And unless the end piece was now really good, which it normally wasn't really good, I was always upset. I felt like it was a waste, right? So I've pretty much only discovered my artistic style in probably like the past year at the most. It was thanks to a really important person in my life, which I plan to have him on a podcast eventually, probably against his will. We will. Against his will. He won't want to be on here, but I'm going to get him on here. <laughs> he means a lot to me and he's the reason I, I, I do art at all. He means a lot. I don't know if you can hear by the way I talk about him, but he's really important to me. <laughs> so here you can see I, it's nailed to the table. <laughs> I had to pry it up. <laughs> That's what this little table is for. There's a reason I did all this on the little table. It's because I wasn't worried about it getting damaged as much. <laughs> so at this point, I decided to nail them all the way through the canvas. Once again, there was no reason at all. It was just the idea came and then I acted upon the idea. And uh, I liked how it looked in the end. You'll see, I really liked it. Um, I think that's that would be my tip. If you don't if you feel like you don't enjoy making art or you don't you don't enjoy creating, uh, stop doing it for the idea of it, but just do it because because why not? I like, just do it. Don't worry about what it looks like and don't worry about anything just do it because I don't think my art's very good but I really enjoy doing it and that's the only reason I, I do it I don't do it to like show it off I don't sell any of my art I just create because I really enjoy the process I can reach like a really good kind of meditative state where especially when I let my ideas kind of just flow where I don't worry about what the next step is to make it look the way I want I just let the ideas flow whatever happens I kind of just let it happen at this point, I didn't really want it to be that pokey, so I thought maybe I could like bend him over, kind of like a barbed wire, eh, kind of. The idea was kind of barbed wire, but I like how it looked in the end, like a lot. I don't know if you can hear, by the way, I, I enjoy it. I think that I enjoy my art pieces the most when I really focus on the process. When I say like, I don't care what it looks like in the end, I'm just gonna have fun. And then those are my favorite pieces by far. Um, so if you're, if you're nervous about creating art, uh, that's my advice. It's I'm I'm claiming it. I know other people do it, but I'm claiming it because that's how cool I am. I claim it. It's the Kai's method. <laughs> it's so bodacious. It's the Kai's method. It's just creating without any idea and just throwing whatever you have at the canvas or at the cardboard or at the paper or at the wall or at the ceiling or at the table or at the stool or whatever you want. And just creating. Here I have this totally not a medical gown from a hospital, totally just a normal t-shirt. And uh, this is for a future project I have coming up called the Ink Lab, where I kind of, I plan to do a lot of DIY ink and talking about DIY paint and inks. And so I wanted to have like a uniform. I didn't have a like lab coat, I couldn't find one. And I didn't really want to buy one, but I had this laying around. So I was like, this would be way better. And I think it's really funny. And yes, professional spelled wrong, That that's on purpose. I thought, no, I don't think. I know it's funny to me. It's funny to me that it's spelled wrong because it's professional spelled wrong. <laughs> but so this is going to be the new uniform I wear during those videos, which I think are the videos I'm most excited about. <clears throat> so keep an eye out for those. They're going to come out soon. I'm trying to get, trying to get better at content creation. I, I got really good at it for TikTok, but my TikTok videos are a minute long. That's only a minute. And they usually take me like, what, 10 minutes? Let's see, 10 minutes to film, five minutes to edit. Like they, they only take me like 15 minutes to do, right? Not all the time, some take a lot more, and a lot more planning, but for the most part. Versus a YouTube video, it takes me like, oh, who knows, like 30 minutes of filming. This one took me a couple hours of filming. I think this one was, I don't even remember. This was over the course of like two days. Um, 
just because I'm, I'm busy. This was kind of like whenever I was sick of editing, I just would go work on this project. <laughs> but I'm trying to get better at, at content creation. It, it's really hard. <laughs> I sound like a little baby, but it's hard. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm getting better at it, I think. I hope. <laughs> I think I'll definitely get a lot better as I keep doing it. At the moment, I enjoy what I'm making, but I, I know I could make it faster. But I don't want to sacrifice of quality for pretty much anything else. I think quality is number one for me. Um, I just want to make good videos, not crappy videos. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. Maybe you guys would prefer if I made a lot faster, crappier videos. The way I compensate by doing for that, whoa, English. The way I compensate for my like lack of posting is by doing those live streams so you guys can kind of connect with me even on days where like I forget to post or there will be a live stream normally um, if you don't know what the live stream schedule is it depends on your time of watching this so go check out my TikTok. you can always ask me in the comment section I do my best to reply right now it's pretty difficult already and I see it only getting more and more difficult to reply in the future um, so if I don't reply to your TikTok comment I'm sorry it's not because I choose not to it's because when a video has a couple thousand comments, I don't really want to spend four hours replying to all of them. <laughs> I do my best. I do my best. <laughs> um, if you ever see somebody in the comments uh, asking something and you know the answer to it, uh, feel free to answer. Like That really means a lot because that just shows that my community is supportive and that's super important to me because I really want to foster a good community. I think that's more important to me than having more followers is I'd rather have less followers, but have like a more kind of united group of followers than have a massive group of followers who all kind of think different ways. I don't know if that's the right way to phrase that. I want to have a community, not just followers. Community is more important to me. And I, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain these words in my head. This is hard. <laughs> Podcasting is hard. <laughs> Here you can see I'm trying it on. This shot is way too dark. Uh, my bad, my bad. You already know what it says. There's the back. And uh, here's some dancing. So enjoy this for a second. <laughs> okay. Now, um, here's a little look at how I created that intro you, you saw, the uh, Kai's cast. I don't, I've never shown how I kind of, how I go about doing this, so I thought it'd be interesting. So uh, normally I just start with pen and paper. I don't like to do it digitally because I just don't like how it ends up looking at the end. So I do it first on pen and paper, or marker and paper for this one. And I just draw a few ideas. I kind of like, this is my brainstorming session, trying to like, know what I'm looking for, try a few different letter shapes and play around. Um, this is also how I do like, uh, kind of, I don't do commissions right now, but I have for a few people. And uh, this is kind of how I go about it too. I just think about what I want it to say, and then I write those words. Pretty easy, right? <laughs> and then once I found one that I really like the look of, I throw it into uh, Adobe Illustrator. Well, first I have to put it into Photoshop and all that garbage, but I go through and edit it and uh, vectorize it so that I can make it as big as I want or as small as I want without losing quality. And then uh, I put it at the intro, but you'll see that. So I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. You'll just watch the video. Just watch the video. You don't have to watch the video, but if you wanna know more about that, watch the video. <laughs> if you want a full tutorial on how I do that, I'd be happy to do a video on it if that's something people are interested in. Pretty much if you have anything you want to know about my creative process, my artistic process, my anything, anything about me, uh, just ask them in the comments. If you want to know, if you want a specific tutorial too, like uh, I would love to get some more recommendations from you guys. I try my best to take a lot of recommendations, uh, which that reminds me, I should probably talk about um, the whole hand style alphabet. That's the thing I get asked the most on TikTok is, you should do an alphabet, you should do hand style alphabet. 
And the main reason I'm not going to, at least anytime soon, is just because I don't really have a set style. Like, I don't really have a distinct hand style. I, I was, when I used to tag and do a lot more, um, a lot more, uh, what was the word? A lot more legal, winky, winky, legal, um, I kind of just only wrote the words I used. Like, this is an example, this isn't my real, but let's say that I always used, uh, what's a good one? KSL. <laughs> KSL is what I always went by, right? Let's say that's it. Um, I only ever practiced K, S, and L. Those are like the only letters I practiced. I didn't even have a hand style because I pretty much only wrote those letters. And so I took a break for a while, kind of during, the, before pre-COVID. During COVID, I kind of got more into back into the graffiti scene again. And uh, that's when I started practicing other letters. And I realized like, wow, my hand styles are so weak. And it was because I never practiced full hand styles, full alphabets. I just only ever did the letters that I worked with. And so I've been trying to get better at it. Maybe if my hand styles progress more, I'll do an alphabet. But at least anytime soon, don't plan on an alphabet. If you want to get alphabet, just look up graffiti hand styles alphabet graffiti alphabet hand styles alphabet anything like that we get a lot of inspiration there because i don't really have a set style yet i don't think i ever really want to have a set style i want to have a few different hand styles that i'm pretty good at <laughs> that's kind of the plan I'm definitely getting better as i go the live streams help a lot right now at least for the live streams they're usually like two hours and i do three every single week and pretty much for at least an hour and a half Anywhere from an hour to an hour and a half, I just sit there and write other people's words, whatever they ask. And I'm getting better at it. I'm getting better at it? Yeah, I'm getting better at it. I like to think I'm getting better at it at least. Writing other people's names is, is a lot harder than you'd think. Just because like, I've never practiced certain letters next to each other. Like, and D's. Uh, if you've come to the live streams, you know I, I hate the letter D. I'm just super weak when it comes to letter D. I can't think of like any good ways to write it, dude. And every single time I write a D, I'm always disappointed in it. So that's some, that's like one of those specific letters I need to work on more. Definitely need to work on D's more. <laughs> ah, I just don't even know what to say, dude. I should I need to plan out I need to plan these out better. In the future of the Kai's casts, the uh these will be planned out better. I know what I'm talking about. It's because right now I'm kind of just rambling. I had bullet points, but I already forgot all of them. And um, there are already things that I touched on now that I'm looking at the list. Future video plans. Oh, that's a pretty good one to talk about. I have. Oh, we're running out of time though, aren't we? Let's talk about some future video plans. I have quite a few, quite a lot. I have a note on my phone that probably has over 40. Um. The biggest one I already kind of talked about a little bit earlier is those ink labs. I'm really excited to do those. I have all the Art Primo videos to film and edit. Uh, the reason those are taking so long is just because I really want to do high quality. Because there's not a lot of videos on these markers. So if I create the most quality ones, then I'm, I'm adding the most value. And uh, I want to create valuable content that's worth watching, not just mumbo jumbo, half edited, half garbage videos. Here's your final look at uh, all the pieces we did today. By all the pieces, I mean the two pieces we did. <laughs> uh, I'm really happy with how they turned out and I really enjoyed it. Um, if you enjoyed this, please uh, let me know in the comments and uh, pretty much just ask whatever you want in the comments. I, I like to talk with you guys there. Um, yeah. Click here to subscribe if you haven't already and click here to watch another video. And uh, besides that, love you homies. I'll see you guys in the next one.